Let's make a hello, my name is Sticker in Photoshop. Um, I'm doing a tutorial because you asked for help and Photoshop's really fun once you uh, get to learning it and this is a nice simple project to start doing just that. If you don't have the time or the inclination to follow through a tutorial then you're more than welcome to just download the Photoshop file from the description below and I won't get offended. Um, so this is what we're going to be making and it's relatively simple so um, we're going to create a new document in Photoshop click file and then new and you can hit control N or command N that's a keyboard shortcut um, create whatever size you want I'm going 600 by 400 but obviously this will depend on the project that you're actually doing um, Photoshop obviously works in pixels so if you create anything too small and then try and scale it up it will um, come out all pixelated. The only other thing you want to change from the defaults here is that you want to make sure that your background contents are selected as transparent. And click OK and you've got a nice lovely blank slate to work with. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw this rounded rectangle sticker thing right in the center. So I'm going to go over here and draw out a guide. Uh, so you just need to drag those out from the ruler. If you don't have the ruler showing uh, command R or Control R will bring that out and then you can simply just drag out a guide as they're called into the very center and it should snap to the very center of the image you can see it's snapping there uh, if it doesn't snap I'm sure there's a setting somewhere to make it snap or um, you could just do the math and figure it out because it tells you how far along you are then um, we're just going to go into the rounded rectangle tool uh, this is part of the shape tool, so if you hold the shape tool, it'll give you a bunch of options and you can click rounded rectangle. That's click and hold, that is. Um, you select rounded rectangle. Then we're going to go up to the top here and make sure that the pixels are selected. Depending on the version of Photoshop you're using, this might be an icon, but you can just hold over it and a tool tip will appear telling you what each of the icons does, like that one, but it'll tell you uh, whether it's uh, shape, path or pixels, and you just want to select the one that's pixels. Uh, then go along, these should all be the same, they're defaults, and then uh, make sure that your radius is, well, whatever you like, but 10 pixels seems to work for this size that I'm working at, which is 600 by 400. Uh, only other thing I want to do is go down to my colour selection here, select my foreground colour here just by clicking on it, and then change this to a nice red. Now I can grab this tool, move into the centre, and you'll see it'll snap to, uh, or it should snap rather, to the uh, centre to the center here that I've made with the guides and I can just drag that out now if I hold down the option key or the alt key uh, it will um, those are Mac and Windows respectively you can see it will start see it'll change from just drawing from that point to drawing out in all directions from that point equally so I want to do that and I just want to draw in my sticker perfect now uh, I'm done with those guides in the center so I can just click my pointer cursor tool here and uh, drag those off the edge of the screen back into the rulers where they came from. Now the one underneath this pointer tool is the select tool and if I, or the marquee tool rather, and if I click on that and I just select across the center here where I want my white section to be. I think I want something around about that. That looks about good. Now I don't have to go right straight uh, along these edges here because if you, it'll only fill in, we're only going to fill in just this red section with the paint bucket tool, which you can find on the side here, but it's very probable that it will be the gradient tool when you uh, look at it. So if you just hold and click, click and hold rather, you can change it to the paint bucket tool. Then I'm going to click these little switchy arrows to switch my background color, which in this case is white, just to the, uh, the forefront here. Then I can grab my paint bucket tool and just select here and you'll see that it's just um, filled in just the bits that were red which is quite nice and this is a behavior that is should be very apparent if you've ever used something like MS Paint then I can just hit um, command D and uh, or control D and that will simply deselect I've noticed that I've made my uh, my hello my name is sort of red bit quite a bit thinner than I did in the other one but that's that's okay uh, now I'm going to grab my text tool along the side here and I'm just going to select in the center there where I want my text. Then I'm going to um, 
change my font. Helvetic is a nice choice. Uh, but Arial will do. Don't listen to your typography friends. Uh, Arial's just fine if you don't have Helvetica. Um, change my font. I was working at 60 pixels earlier, but this is quite a bit thinner than before, so we'll see how, what 36 looks like. And then uh, just make sure that your colour is on white. And I'm going to make it bold, which is just over here. Hello. Change my font size to be a little bit smaller. My name is. Alrighty then, so now that text is uh, in the centre. If it's not in the centre, you can just select it. And then, um, which is just Command A or Control A. And um, once you've obviously, once you're editing the text, much like a text editor, and then you can just select this centre one here. Now, obviously, the text is centered to itself, but it's not centered where I want it. So I'm going to go and grab my fourth tool from the top, or um, if you're got, if you've got two columns, it's the this one here, uh, and it's this is the magic wand tool. It might be the quick selection tool when you come to it. So just click and hold, and then select magic wand. Now I can make sure here in my layer palette that my background layer, my sticker layer here, is selected, and I can just click on the red, and it will just select this red area. Then if I go back to my cursor tool, my move tool, I think it's called, uh, then we can click these icons across the top here to, oh, I've got to go back over onto my text layer, and then I can go and make sure that they're centered here. So, magic wand, select the red, go over into this, select our text layer, and then just click these icons, and it will center my text in that selected area. Now, obviously, I want to do the name. So I'm going to go grab my text tool again, Change my colour of my text to black. Oh dear. I've made that mistake almost every single time that I've uh, <laughs> done something like this. Um, is I still have this text layer selected. So I'm going to hit Command Z or Control Z to undo that. I'm going to click here to make sure that I've started a new text layer on the side here. And then I can go and change my colour without affecting the text layer that I had selected earlier. Um, so let's say John Smith. Now, I'm going to make that quite a great deal larger. Uh, I'm going to make that 120 points. Okay, I'm going to make that 110 points. That'll get smaller when I pick the font I want, because Helvetica, I suppose, is fine if you want something that um, looks printed, but I don't. So I've gone to the Google Fonts project, and I've downloaded this nice font called Gochi Hand. Um, there's a link to that in the description of this video. So I'm just going to select my text, and I'm going to change it to that font. There we go. And I can just position that wherever I like. Now I want it rotated, so I'm going to make sure that my John Smith layer here is selected. I'm going to hit Command or Control T. This brings us into free transform mode. Then I can just take my cursor here, and uh, I can go until it's this nice curved arrow, and I can just click and drag to rotate it. Lovely. Now, at this point, we're pretty much done if you want just a Hello, My Name is sticker. But um, you said you wanted to manipulate it in some way, so I've decided to add in this nice little page curl here. So let's go and do that. Let's select our sticker layer. And um, something that I've got into the habit of doing, and uh, it's worked quite well for me, is to create duplicates of layers that I'm going to change just in case I stuff it up and can't go back um, because sometimes you run out in your history. Uh, you can change that but I can't be bothered to. So I'm just going to drag this layer down onto the second uh, icon on the right here which is the new layer icon but if I drag a layer onto the new, new layer icon it will create a duplicate of that layer. So what I can do then is hide uh, just that copied layer and I can drag that to the base here, and um, now I've got a backup, just in case something goes terribly wrong while I'm working on this layer here, because I'm going to uh, quite destructively change it. Obviously, with things like text, you can go and edit them at will, but uh, here we're actually just going to change things. So I'm going to uh, just um, grab my select tool here, and I'm just going to select a very little uh, corner here, littler than you think it would need to be. Um, this is going to be, see how we've got this nice sort of gradient on the underside. We're going to create that now. So I'm just, I'm just going to zoom in. You can do that using the zoom tool on the side, or if you've got one of those 
trackpads as I do with those gestures. You can just pinch to zoom, which is quite a handy feature. Anyway, I'm, going, I'm not trying to sell laptops, I'm trying to teach you how to make a sticker. So, we're going to grab our magic wand tool now. And uh, if I hold down Option or Alt, it will switch it into Selection Subtraction mode. Uh, so whilst holding Alt, I can just click outside the area of this sticker, and it's just going to subtract this area of the selection. So we've just got the bit of the sticker that we want selected. Now I can go over, I can release Alt, and go over to my Gradient tool, which is under the Paint Bucket tool. And if I go down here to where I select my colours and click this little icon here, it will switch my colours back to the defaults, which is what I want black and white then I can simply drag in a nice little gradient and that's going to become the underside. Now the next thing I want to do is just drag a little bit of a larger selection. So I'm just going to do that and then I'm going to hit Command T or Control T again right click and then click Warp. Now if I drag from this corner you see we get this nice page turn and that's pretty much exactly what I want there. Now, I can, you know, you can mess with the way this works. And I think I like something like that. That looks good to me. So if I hit enter, that will then commit that to change. And now I've, I've changed those pixels. Um, I'm happy with that. So I can now uh, delete this sort of backup layer just by dragging it onto that deletion icon on the far right. Uh, we're almost done. The last thing that I want to do is just create a, uh, a sort of drop shadow behind this sticker to sort of really enhance the effect here. So if I go down to FX, making sure that my sticker layer is selected and click drop shadow, uh, then it will create underneath it a drop shadow. There we are. And I can just mess with the settings here. Once again, this is one of those things you can change at a later date. So if you don't like what you've created, you can just double click on drop shadow here and it will allow you to change it, but I like um, something like that. Seems quite nice. There we go. That's good. Let's do that. Okay. And that is my hello. My name is John Smith um, sticker. You can um, do with it what you will once you've um, created it. So I hope you enjoyed making it. I hope that you enjoyed using Photoshop. If you have any questions about it at all, uh, then you can simply send uh, me a message or a comment on something, <laughs> whatever you're watching this on. So uh, that is Hello My Name Is. Obviously the project file for uh, both this and <laughs> this significantly better one is in the, um, the description of this video. I like the, uh, the page turn better on this, but I like the actual layout of the sticker better on this one. Anyway, um, that's it. That's Hello, My Name is Stickers in Photoshop. Yeah.